Hey everyone, I'm the business development rep here at Sundog, and I'm going to take you through a simple tech tip that has a lot to do with uh, day-to-day tasks when we're working in email and Outlook. Um, so something I have here is a PDF that is sent by Mallory. So Mallory is our marketing manager, and even though that we're communicating back and forth quite often, I want to make sure that the PDF that she sent me uh, is actually sent from her. There are times where an email account can be compromised, uh, so the person that hack, that's hacking in may pose as Mallory, and it may be coming from Mallory, but you know maybe she hadn't actually sent this, and this was just someone uh, that sent a PDF that has some malware attached to it. So I'm going to call Mallory, and I've already done this, but I'm going to text her or uh, instant message her and ask her if she actually meant to send that and if that is something that I can expect from her. So once we have that in the clear, um, something that you'll notice often with PDFs is they can be an Adobe PDF. Um, so a lot of people, once they click an Adobe PDF, they get an error that looks like this. So they open it and it immediately goes Adobe Acrobat. They're in here, they can kind of scroll through it for a second, but then they get an error message that pops up right there. And it says invalid plugin. This is because a lot of people don't have access to Adobe Acrobat and they don't have a license or account to view it. Um, so a simple way to get past that, and the reason I have to go in there and do that is because I've already made the adjustments where it automatically goes on Chrome when I open it. Uh, but for a lot of you, you'll you'll immediately uh, it'll get opened in Acrobat, and then you'll have to you have to work on this this tech tip in a, that I'm about to show you. So first things first, I'll go ahead and save it. So save it in here. I'll open my files and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click and then you have open here now for me the default is to open a microsoft edge that is something that you can do as well um, but if it's not set as your as your uh as your default you may it may open an adobe acrobat which may cause the problems that we just showed you a second ago but the easiest way to get past this and it kind of gives you some some choices of what you want to open it with you can press open with and I'm not going to click Acrobat because that's what gave us a problem. If you like Firefox better, you can use that. If you like Chrome better, you can use that. Uh, you can do Microsoft Edge. I always find myself using Google Chrome. I feel like it's a little bit easier. So I'll click that. And we see we have it open now. I can do all the scrolling I want. Uh, so that's an option to get, get away from having that Adobe Acrobat error. So that's how you can open PDFs. Another thing that you can do here is you can press, you can open it, and you can press preview. Um, but the problem with that, it's kind of crunched up. It's a little bit harder to see. So I always recommend just saving it and then and then right clicking, open with, and then just do Google Chrome. Uh, it seems to work the best. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what we would want to do for, or what you would like us to do for next week tech next week's tech tech tip video, uh, give us a heads up and let us know. Thanks for joining in. We'll see you in a couple weeks.